You know, I think the book of Esther could be and maybe even should be bookmarked for believers as a source of encouragement and a healthy dose of perspective on some simple truths that seem too easy to simply forget. And that's the truth that there actually is a God, the truth that he actually does care about us and the reality that he's actively engaged in our lives. You see, once again, here in Esther chapter six, we're reminded that God is in control. As the king has an evening where he can't sleep, decides to have the record of some of the recent happenings in his kingdom to be read aloud to him. I don't know, maybe this is his ancient version or attempt of counting sheep or finding a way to lull himself to sleep. I don't know, but maybe his trouble falling asleep was divinely inspired. You see, through this, it's brought to his attention that Mordecai was never honored or rewarded for saving his life. We read about that in chapter two. And as you've been reading through this little book, you know that tension, well, it's mounting between Haman and Mordecai. Well, it just so happens that Haman is in the court while the king makes his discovery of Mordecai's unrewarded heroism. And the king asked Haman for his opinion of what should be done to honor someone who genuinely pleases the king. And Haman, thinking of himself first and foremost, which honestly seems to be a character trait of his, well, he believes that the king is referring to him. And so he essentially recommends that the king spares no expense nor lack of spotlight upon the person who the king wants to honor. And ironically, interestingly, I'd say even comically, but more appropriately, sovereignly, the king has Haman personally facilitate his gloating recommendations for Mordecai. You see, Haman is disgraced and mortified, but Haman's wife and advisors offer an insightful observation as to what's going on. Verse 13 says, Since Mordecai, this man who has humiliated you, is of Jewish birth, you will never succeed in your plans against him. It will be fatal to continue opposing him. See, the truth is, there actually is a God. The truth is, he actually does care about us. And the reality is that he is actively engaged in our lives. So today, be encouraged as you read this chapter that the same God who is watching out and over Mordecai, well, he is there for you and for me.